morning, everybody. And at this time, will sergeants please start their recording? PC recording started. Thank you. So recording started. Thank you. Backup is rolling. Thank you. And at this time, will Sergeant Hannah please start with our opening? Good morning, everyone. And welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing um, on the votes on civil and human rights. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their videos? Once again, if all panelists can turn on their videos. To minimize the on battery or silent. Uh, thank you for your cooperation. We're ready to begin. Chairman, you can start. All right, thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Matthew Eugene, and, and I'm the chair of the Civil and Human Rights Committee. Thank you for joining our virtual vote today on proposed introduction 2082A, sponsored by Council Member Powers. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge my colleagues on the committee who are, who are joining us. I think that Council Member Jerome is here, Council Member Perkins. Any other Council Member here? Yes, we have all members. Uh, can you please uh, mention the name for me? Sure. Yeah. Council Member Barron is here. Oh, Barron, always. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Council Member Barron. And Council Member is uh, Lenders here. And Council Member Perkins. I'm here, Mr. Chair. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. All I'm right. Trying Council to give Member. subliminal messages. <laughs> okay. And we respond to the uh, to reports about discrimination against Section 8 voucher holders. In, 20, in 2008, the council enacted a local law adding a lawful source of income to the New York City Human Rights Law, NYCHRL, as a protected class for protective tenants, making it illegal to refuse to rent an apartment because someone has a housing assistant voucher. The law prohibited landlords and real estate brokers with a building of six or more units from refusing to rent a, to current or prospective tenant who use any form of governmental assistance to pay their rent. Despite a prohibition against SOI discrimination, it continues to exist as a barrier to permanent housing. In response to continued discrimination, the New York City, <coughs> excuse me, Commission on Human Rights form a special SOI discrimination unit in 2018. The SOI unit has been instrumental in combating discrimination against those who apply for housing using rental assistance vouchers. The unit investigates and, if applicable, prosecute real estate brokers and landlords in New York City who refuse to rent to tenants based on the lawful source of income. Between 2018 and 2019, the unit has been investigated and resolved over 350 cases of SOI discrimination. CCHR's SOI discrimination unit also filed 176 cases of source of income-based discrimination against landlords and brokers in New York City. However, as we heard at the city, at the committee, committee's 2018 budget hearing, SOI discrimination remains rampant in this city. In 2019, after consistent organizing effort from stakeholders and advocates, the state took action to ban SOI discrimination statewide by amending the state human rights law. As opposed to the city SOI law, the state SOI law covers all buildings and units, except for rental units and two families' homes occupied by owner, rental and roaming house occupied by the owner, rental of all rooms to persons of same sex in certain senior houses. The NH, the NICHRL is more limited in scope because it does not cover properties 
with fewer than six units. Entro 2882A seeks to expand this scope in an effort to help more New Yorkers facing this type of discrimination. The bill also clarified the definition of lawful source of income to be more inclusive of all the type of lawful income that low income New Yorkers may have access to. <laughs> it is of utmost importance to us in New York City that we strengthen the city human rights law to the greatest extent possible when it's come to discrimination and housing while the city's laws currently contain some of the strongest and most comprehensive protections, including prohibiting and discrimination in housing based on a generous list of protected classes, there's always, always more to be done. I'd like to thank uh, committee staff, Valky Miri, senior counsel to the committee, William Yuri, policy analyst, and Nevin Singh, finance analyst. And I would like uh, also to thank my staff, uh, Melissa Wilson. Now I would like to, to turn it over to uh, my colleague, Council Member Parkins, for some remarks. He is the, the, the prime sponsor of the intro 2082A. So, sorry, Chair Eugene, um, Council Member Powers won't be joining us for remarks. We can, we can call the vote. I'm sorry? We can call the vote. Council Member Powers is not joining us um, for oh. remarks. Okay, thank you so much, very much. Thank you so much. Now I will now call uh, the vote. Mr. Clerk, would you please call the vote, please? Sir, good morning. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on civil and human rights. Introduction 2082A, Chair Eugene. I vote aye. Barron. Uh, thank you. I vote aye and ask to be added to the list of sponsors. Thank you. Drum. Aye. Lander. Vote aye. Perkins. Uh, aye, aye, thank you. Thank you, sir. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions, introduction has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you very much to all my colleagues and to, thank you also to all the wonderful staff of the city council. And uh, with this, uh, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you.